Hey what's up guys Tech Titan here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content please leave a thumbs up. Also if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so. And yeah let's just go ahead and jump into today's video. So in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy A6 and this is a really nice budget smartphone from Samsung. Um, actually in my opinion this is what the J7 should have been. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and talk about it. So let's go ahead and start with the design So this is made out of metal all the way around and it's a really nice design It has a nice weight to it. One thing that I do want to say is that it is slippery So highly recommend the case on it if you plan on getting it and you have your antennas right here on the top and bottom It might bother some people in terms of looks, but me personally I really don't have a problem with it I think they give it a good look now if they weren't there the phone would definitely be cleaner for signal purposes They had to be there what I don't like though is these, um, is these I don't know, these markings right here. I don't know, they're, they're kind of off. They put off the, dis uh, I don't know, they're, they don't look that good on the phone. So uh, that's just me nitpicking though. And you have your Samsung logo, your 16 megapixel camera, a fingerprint sensor, your LED flash. And I will be talking about the camera in a little bit too. So on the front you have your 5.6 inch HD plus display and it is an AMOLED panel. And if you know Samsung, you know that they're, they're the best in the business when it, comes, when it comes to the AMOLED screens. And this screen is really nice. Now, it's not really the sharpest thing out there, but it, gets defi it definitely gets decently bright outdoors. Great colors, saturated as always, because it is an AMOLED screen. The blacks are black, and overall, a really solid display. Now, also on the front, you do have your 16 megapixel front-facing camera, your earpiece, as well as your front-facing flash. And this phone does have face recognition. Now it's not as secure as something like Face ID, but it's another option if you want to use it. Now it also does support that nice 18 by 9 aspect ratio, which I personally like. And I think that's a great move by Samsung to put in an 18 by 9 aspect ratio display on a phone that costs $240. So as for the cost, it is controversial, so you can get it. So the cost kind of differs depending on uh, where you get it from. So if you plan on getting it with Metro, you can get it for $240. But if you want to just outright, just the phone itself, it is $360 retail, which is it's still in the budget world, but it's definitely, in terms of the phones that I review on my channel, it's definitely up there in terms of price. But to me personally, it's, I would say it's definitely worth the $240 uh, price tag. You get a nice display, a really good design, a fingerprint sensor, a solid camera. And like I said, I'll discuss the camera in a little bit. I actually really like the camera on this phone. Now let's talk about performance real quick. And performance on this phone is solid, definitely solid. So you have three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and day-to-day -day tasks are a breeze for this phone. So opening up something like the phone app is quick. The contacts app is also quick and like the messaging app is still quick so it's a really fast phone and it does it like it is it is uh, and it does come with three gigabytes of RAM so it is able to retain all the information open in the background where most phones um, that I review on my channel have two gigabytes of RAM the three gigabytes of RAM on this phone does it justice and the um, Samsung has definitely gotten better in RAM management over year over their years and this phone shows it for sure. I forgot to mention that on the right hand side you do have your power button and on the left hand side you do have your volume up and down. So definitely well made buttons and they're really tactile. You also have the uh, speaker which is placed awkwardly to the side and I really like the speaker too. So let me go ahead and give you guys a speaker test. Okay, so the speaker. The speaker on this phone is a solid speaker. I really like it. Now, one, it's not all, um, okay, so one of the things that you can easily do is block it. So if you place your finger over here on the wrong position, you can definitely block it. But, I mean, it, 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 it takes, I mean, if you get used to it, you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't block it on accident. And yeah, the speaker is definitely solid. Now, I wish it would have gone just a little bit louder, but other than that, that's just, again, nitpicking. 
other than that, it's a really solid speaker. So we talked about performance. It's a really solid performing. If you plan on doing games, uh, heavy demanding games like PUBG or things like that, solid. Um, you shouldn't have any problems at all. So solid performance, solid design. Let's talk about this camera. So I am going to be doing a separate camera review, but I can definitely tell you guys that this is a solid camera. One of the best cameras that I have used on a phone at that price. Uh, definitely definitely does more than get just get the job done so if you plan on using it for social media this is really good and yeah let's just talk about image quality and here are some sample shots that I've taken so first of all the colors look really good dynamic range on here is decent I like it and the video capability is also pretty solid now um, straight after this video I am gonna be doing a camera review like I said so stay tuned I'll definitely link it in the description below once it comes out and subscribe so you get uh, so you'll get notified when the video when the actual video comes out so yeah um, this one does definitely does have a lot of pros to it and the cons the cons are the following if you look at the bottom it, it does use micro USB, so not really a solid, I don't know, micro USB is old, it's not really future proof by any means, so I wish they would have, it's a solid design, I wish they would have just included USB-C. Another con is that this phone doesn't really support quick charge, and the battery life, the battery life on here is definitely average, it's not really the best battery, because it is using an OLED screen, and it is a bigger uh, 5.6 inches so it does eat up battery life faster than um, phones with this type of battery capacity so yeah other than other than that these these are the only two cons that I can really think of other than that it's a really solid option if you're into the if you're in the market where you just don't want to really really where you just don't really want to spend flagship money this is a definitely a solid option and for two hundred and forty dollars you can get the samsung galaxy a6 and yeah you shouldn't uh you should definitely be satisfied with this phone now it's not an s8 or s9 but it's close and the design is solid the performance is solid the camera is also solid the front facing camera is actually pretty good i haven't showed you guys a sample of it but the front facing camera just turn off beauty mode it's on by default and i hate it I hate it on all, in a lot of phones, but just turn it off by default and you should be fine. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead and put the phone down. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll, I'll happily answer them. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy it, leave a thumbs up and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.